Today we're doing another collaboration. So we're, um, as you know, it's a collaboration. So we're gonna post all the other videos by the other people in the description. Check that out. And um, yeah, what's the um, collaboration about? It's gonna be three things we love and three things we hate about our camera. Yeah, so that'll be pretty interesting because we always talk positively, but it's also kind of nice to um, get like flesh out the negatives with it, you know, so you can fully understand it. Yeah, because there's some negatives. There's lots of positive things I can say about the Lance 2445, from its small size, making it nimble and easy to get places, from the fact that it, despite being small, feels really roomy inside and fits a family of four quite well for even extended trips. There are some negative things, and we'll talk about it. Now, the 2445 that we own, or the camper we own, actually came with most of the upgrades you could get on it at the time, that's 2020, including these keyless entry doors, which, I actually swapped out for a better version, so maybe they weren't the best, but it was still nice to have those kind of touches. It came with everything from the nice upgraded fans in the bathroom. Wait a minute. Our bathroom came with a chimpsy little cheap fan. So let me fix that real quick, and then we'll get right back to here. Now that I got that fixed, let's go try it out. You're gonna have to pardon the mess in the camper. We just got back from a long trip and I'm filming this as we clean up. But one of the things I will point out is there are a few things that I don't like in this camper that I'm leaving off this list because the new models have corrected it. One of the big issues is our countertops. Like with all small travel trailers, companies design them to be light <laughs> because people are going to tow them with their half ton vehicle or smaller even and so they go with light materials i would much prefer to have a camper of this size but have it built sturdy out of solid products one of the things that that causes in this camper is no solid countertops our tables and countertops are actually a laminate with some some sort of wood laminate with uh, overlap Works great, haven't had any issues, but I would have much preferred solid countertops, which they now have in the newer models. The second thing is to keep the weight down, they didn't duck the ceilings, which we had ducked in our little 1800 bunkhouse Winnebago, great rig by the way, and so I didn't really see why they couldn't do it in a Lance. Well, they do do it now. Now with that said, I haven't noticed the big noise difference between ducted and non-ducted that everybody talks about. They're both extremely loud. And I think with short ceilings, it's just always going to be loud. But what I would have liked to seen is another air conditioner in the bedroom. This one does fine. The way the door is designed, it blows back there. It does fine. I just think that would have been a nice touch. But anyway, if you get the new 2245, it will actually have ducted air conditioning. So I'm not going to mention that. Well, I did just mention it, but it's not on my list. That being the negative, there's some positive things about Lance specifically that we're not going to go into great detail in this video. It's not going to be one of our three likes or dislikes. I just want to get them out of the way. One, Lance is really known for its insulation and its four season or cold weather capability. We've definitely proven that out. Camping in snow and in ice storms, etc. Never had a problem. Our heater did go out and we had to fix it and actually replace it. I can show some footage of me doing that right here. Um, and, you know, that is what it is. But the camper itself has done great. They're also known for their fit and finish. There's no trim pieces to hide the gaps or anything. Everything just fits nicely. Really pretty looking. Also, ignore the mess. But as we turn around here without getting anybody dizzy, they're also known for their really big dinettes. They're, they're roomy, they're cushiony, family of four can sit here with no problem. You can use this as a couch, you can use this as a table, you can use it as a desk. It's really quite comfortable and you don't feel like you just have some little dinette. It actually feels like a comfortable place to lounge. So those are things Lance are known for. The other thing in this model specifically, the 2445, is we have excellent bunks. 
we're a family of four. We had to have bunks. The bunks are very large. They are actually large enough to sleep two adults very comfortably on each bunk. Uh, and our kids have lots of room in them. They have their own privacy. They just far exceed other bunks. In fact, I was really considering the Airstream, but when I went and looked at their bunks, it just didn't compete with the Lance. And I definitely want the kids to be comfortable. But that brings me to my first big like about this RV. Despite being a 24 foot travel trailer, we actually have a private bedroom with this big skylight. This bedroom has a north south bed, which means you can get around it. You know, obviously, if you had a bed out on a slide like the 2465, that'd work too. But for a lot of travel trailers, they have east west beds with no slide and they're just a pain to make up the bed and you have to climb over each other. Not here. Very comfortable bedroom. Lots of storage in the bedroom. You're, you have a door you can close. You have a fairly large closet that would be like something you'd have at home. You rarely see that in a 24-foot travel trailer. We have uh, television, etc. in here. Um, it's just a really comfortable bedroom. You know, pardon the mess in here. But one of the things I really like about our Lance 2452 is this large bathroom. I'm going to tell you, Having a large bathroom is a must for us. I don't do wet baths and I want to have room. I want to get into my shower and feel like I'm in my home shower. And you do here. The shower is massive here. Let me see if I can step in here. I mean, you can definitely shower in here. I'm a fairly short person, but, um, you know, you have a little extra headroom if you're not. Uh, but you have lots of room here. I mean, there is no issue in the shower. You don't feel like you're in a camper shower. Likewise, the toilet is well situated in a great spot where you know it has lots of room around it you have a sink in here one of the downsides not a lot of storage in here but there is places to hang your towels and there are some cabinets now some people feel like there was a waste by adding a window in the bathroom which we do have here but it doesn't bother me and we haven't been in places where i like to open it up or you know have a view outside to the ocean <laughs> it doesn't matter to me but to some people eh, that seems like an odd choice but anyway, you put it, we have a nice big bathroom and I consider that one of the positives on the 2445. All right, that brings us right back to one of our positives that I'm just gonna sound a little confusing because it's also gonna be first on my negative list. One of the things I must have on a camper is ability to get to the bathroom and a place to sleep and the refrigerator with the slide closed. Ideally, you'd be able to get to everything, but it's a 24 foot trailer. We understand that's not always possible. So. With the slide closed on this one, you can easily get to the bathroom. There's no blockage at all. You can get to both the bunks, which as I said earlier, each bunk could sleep two full-size adults. Now, there is a weight limit <laughs> of 250 pounds, but there are also supports you can buy to support the bottom bunk that gives it a little bit more forgiveness if needed. Um, you can also get to the refrigerator kinda. You can open the refrigerator enough to reach in there and get things off the top shelf or out of the door. No problem while traveling. As long as you remember to put the things you need right there, you're fine. What you can't get to is the kitchen, the dinette, or the front bedroom. And that's our first negative. I really would like to be able to get to my master bedroom and to the various storage in the kitchen. Don't necessarily need to sit on the dinette, but what this means is we have to find a place to put the slide out, be fairly level if we stop for lunch or something. But we found that we normally don't have a problem with that. We've been able to put it out almost everywhere we go. We just make sure we park with grass off to the side. Make sure you don't forget to watch all the other videos and like and subscribe to this channel. Hey Beckett, mm -hmm. what's something you hate about this camper? Well, I really hate its color. What, what's wrong with the color? I don't know. But yeah. But you know what my least favorite thing on this camper is? Mm -hmm. It's right behind you. The color? No, not the color. It's these wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our something. wheels, the wheels are too close together. Mm -hmm. And because they're so close together, we can't use the Anderson leveling box. We can't use um, uh, the, the little, I forget what they call them, the choke X or whatever type stabilizers. And I think that's what gives this camper a little bit of a sway problem. You're probably right. I am. I'm often right. He's very often right. Now we've talked about the refrigerator and we've talked about the dinette, but one of the things that can be a problem in the 2245 is that the refrigerator is in this slide. Now it's a Swintec slide, and what that means is there's quite a bit of weight in this slide for a Swintec. 
the original models right before ours were built have had a lot of slide problems for that there was actually i don't know if i want to call it a recall but a fix that was pushed out through the dealers and there was a fix done at the manufacturer to provide more support and rollers we have not had any issues with our slide and we maintain it but a lot of people feel that this is just too heavy for this slide mechanism and that the refrigerator should not have been in the slide anything else we want to talk about nope now enjoy the rest of the video or good day yeah and watch everybody else's video make sure you comment on their videos why you think we're right and they're wrong and enjoy, wait it's their campers we wouldn't have any. and enjoy this dog video enjoy this dog we're going to show a dog huh? now mm -hmm. all right anything else we want to say out here um no other than in the next coming months and weeks you're going to see some videos about japan japan yeah are we taking the rv to japan no Oh, we're flying over. Flying over. It's gonna be very fun. Yeah. I'm gonna turn on the new fan. All right, that's on high. You hear it? Yeah. All right, now I want you to come over here and try the one in the bedroom. All right, so you just listened to the one in the bathroom. That's the new Max Air fan. This is the fantastic fan. Also on high. They, the air feels about the same. Which one's louder? Yeah, Fantastic Fam is a lot louder, isn't it? It's not even close. Yeah. Bye.